I spent $1,000 on TCG player, and every day I regret it more and more. What's up guys, we're back with another 1K spent on TCG player. It's been two and a half years since we started this series. It's kind of insane to think about. And ever since, you know, a year and a half ago, it feels like we've just been getting punched in the gut, basically, constantly, maybe a year ago. Whenever, I don't know, whenever it started getting bad. Really, honestly, it's never been a great investment. But before we get it more into that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away a $50 TCG player gift card. If you don't have TCG player in your country, I'm just gonna send you 50 bucks. So just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Uh, can we even continue this series next year? I don't know. I haven't actually looked at the, the things yet. I just assume it's going to be bad. But if we do continue it, how in the world are we going to make money with Yu-Gi-Oh cards? I don't even know if it's possible. Oh, wait, maybe we're going to spend our whole budget on Magia. Maybe that's how. All right, to speed up the process this time, because last time it took me a long time to go through these, I have pre-opened all of these tabs with every single card up until the current year. The current year, we're going to be searching those manually. But um, starting off, we are in the very first year of, let's go back to 20. 22 so 2022 is when we started the series let's see what uh the update is looking like so first we have ultimate rare blue eyes white dragon so this is the one where we got a lightly played one it's 4.99 now we're getting absolutely decimated by that it's actually technically up from last time so that's good but overall we're down 80 percent on that one don't worry we have an unlimited near mint as well that will definitely help that's gonna help three dollars and 45 cents hey that one's up too look at this guys we're actually on a roll last time compared to last time but compared here's the total cost yeah obviously we're in not up all right silent swordsman level five we get to check that one off silent swordsman level five this is one that uh used to be or it should have been a near mint but it was not so unfortunately for us we have the lightly played version 58 56 33 uh the uh first ed near mint is actually in really it's a good one, but unfortunately we didn't do that. So let's go to the number 17. We're going to blow through these old ones until we get to the current year to see how we're doing, because we just want to kind of check in a little bit. Near Mint, 3197. I think it's actually up from last time. No, no, it's not. Never mind. <laughs> At one point, this was 29.99, I think. So we did at some point go back up. But OK, yeah, now let's check out the Lightning Storm. This is a Starlight Rare. It had a rarity collection print. You guys know what that does to, to cards. 73.75. We bought this thing at nearly $300. So just show this is what Yu-Gi-Oh! Starlights were going for back in 2022. It's now 2024. Look at that. So huge difference when it comes to Starlight prices. Also, Lightning Storm's not that great anymore. Also, I need to stop playing RuneScape. Sorry, RuneLight. Okay, Solemn Warning. Let's go to the Ultimate Rare. See, this is a lot faster when I do this, uh, you know, off, off camera. Okay, 40, 50, 15. We got to do the verified. So 50, 15. We're down again overall. We're only down about 20 bucks. It's not like the worst. Oh, wait, what's our next thing? Okay, evil here. This was a stupid decision. I don't know why I bought this. Okay, uh, near mint 449. Hey, that actually doesn't seem that bad. That's actually up from last time. Hey, okay, maybe this was. Look, the thing, the reason I want to continue this series is not because we're going to necessarily make money year by year, but I want to see what happens in like five years. So it's actually really cool to check on these because we're like two and a half years later, which is actually pretty long. Five years would be really interesting to see what happens with some of these cards. So that's kind of why I want to keep this going. Uh, Stratos. All right. Ultimate rare. This one's definitely been going down since last I checked. 88 90 sheesh that is this one was consistent for a while not so much anymore red eyes flare metal dragon ghost rare this one's actually in great condition eventually one day it's going to be part of my binder if i ever take it out for you know what we're doing with this this series 59 96 that's definitely down um uh total oh wow we spent 138 dollars on this card rarity collection print does that to you okay warriors triumph Warriors Triumph. this one rarely has anything listed there's not even a lowest listed but i guess we're gonna go with that there's just the or verified at least 89.95 that's to, even that one's down now look at okay we literally have lost 500 okay i gotta this there's something wrong with this with this here i gotta fix that but we literally lost 586 dollars which is out of a thousand that is insane okay 58.63 percent down from our thousand dollars which is absolutely i'm not even including the taxes we paid we have gotten destroyed from 2022 but who knows maybe in like five years we'll make our we'll end up making our money back who knows all right we gotta check year two now year two we bought a lot of more cards so a lot of different cards uh sky striker ace rose is our first one uh, this one was a good year for a while. Okay, but then it kind of fell apart. Okay, 25 cents. Uh, yeah, we bought these at like a dollar something. So not looking good on those. Dark Arm Dragon. Let's check in on you. The Ghost Rare Near Mint, even though it's probably not. It's probably lightly played, to be honest. But we'll, we'll, we'll do it Near Mint. It's actually not the worst, actually. I've seen worse. Colossal Fighter has been good for us, but I'm guessing it's, yeah, even this is down. Uh, Near Mint, 109.82, actually. Wait, that's still really good. That's still up. 
it's down a little bit from last time, which was 114. Honestly, pretty impressive. That's not bad. Okay, I'll have just as our other Edison format uh, investment. Whoa, look at that one. Maybe, maybe, maybe 129.93 Edison format. You do it again. Just wait till you're in Rarity Collection Edison Edition then you will be destroyed. But hey, that's pretty, that's not bad. Ash Blossom, near mint, 680, got a rarity collection. So this is definitely not gonna be doing that well. Okay, we have six of these, so it's 680 times six for that. Okay, so still down 20 bucks, but honestly, not as bad as it could have been. Uh, Pot of Desires, 23.99. That is really bad. That thing was 55 bucks when you bought it, ouch. Uh, rarity collection added again. Okay, Toon Black Luster Soldier, $10.29. I think we're actually up on that, aren't we? Okay, Trap Trick, Trap Hole Nightmare. We sold those at a fixed price. So those are staying the same. We actually locked in a profit, which is pretty nice. What was our number again? $10.29. So these are down from last time, but overall still up, which is pretty great. Instant Fusion Ultimate Rare. What do you have for us? You have $93. $2.49. It's actually not as bad as I remember. It did get, oh, that's not $9,000. That would be really nice. But I think it got like limited one or something like that. Uh, Night Fusion. Yeah, that, that was our Night Beam. That was our thing for a while. Night Beam kind of went off. Let's see if, okay, wow. Okay, there's a lot of these. Night Beam, $10.69. That's uh, 10 of those. So 10, 69. I guess I could have really just done this in my head because it's times 10, but whatever. We're up 1%, everybody. 1% increase. Not bad at all. Boxia is up next. Please bless us with something crazy. And by bless us, I mean, we need to actually like make some money. This is still doing a lot better than 22. That's for sure. I think we've made better choices in this one, but uh, same time, still losing money. Okay, 1647. All right, 1647. That's down a little bit. Let's try the Yazzie. This will be the faster portion of the video. We will slow down a little bit when we get to the next one to talk about how they're doing for the current year. Rescue Rabbit. Okay, Rescue Rabbit. This one got a yeah, rarity collection print. So I'm guessing that the original secret is not doing so great. 1325, and I am correct because we spent $21. So down about 33%. Rising energy, these are definitely down because we spent way too much on these to begin with. I remember this specifically, 578. We spent like 15 bucks or something on one of them. Uh, this one's the, the, the infamous fiber jar. You guys remember what happened. If you don't, you can see it in a previous video. It's, yeah, we returned it because it had the star on the back. All right, Droll and Lockbird. This one was good till Rarity Collection 2. It, it was absolutely balling. Like, it was way up here. Three, it was like four bucks each. Back down to 25 cents, unfortunately. They were doing so good. They were doing so good. I was so happy with our penny stonks, but we're back down to losing money. Gate Guardians, these have been one of our biggest losers. I think I did something wrong last time with these, but uh, still 23 times 15 cents means we have made 15 cents off fifteen dollars three dollars and 45 cents which is less than we paid for every single copy we paid like four dollars and something so brutal on that one petite moth up next uh near mint anybody near mint okay they were unlimbed they were near mint supposedly they weren't actually near mint 32 cents uh we i missed the battle fader we're gonna have to check in on that one but 30 uh, 14 times 0 0.32 which means we lost about half our money 49 percent let's check in on the battle fader ulti near mint uh 54.50 actually that's pretty good 54.50 shockingly thanks to our locked in profit of the trap trick trap hole and these two edison cards we're only losing two percent of our money last time we made two percent so we're still steadily declining but this is by far bet way better than year one because year one was pathetic Let's move on to year three and let's see what our total is. I actually need to like get a little total screen that has like every year like put together and see like what our total loss is because it's definitely a loss. Okay, let's start off Mystical Space Typhoon. All right, $18.99. It's definitely less than what we paid. We paid $22. Okay, $18.99. I definitely need to add a different copy to my Edison deck because that's way too cheap. We did a high rarity. We need ulti probably. It looks nice. All right, Dogmatica Ecclesia the Virtuous. Dogmatica... I think we got the ultis, right? And these were kind of cheap when we got them. Oh, this seems like it has some potential. Okay, 11.99 is not great. Uh, yeah, we only got one. I feel like those could go up if that archetype makes a comeback. Nekagal. I forgot we had to get these. <laughs> this was a mistake. Okay, Nekagal. Nekagal, these suckers are $1.15. Somebody's undercutting us. We have 10 of them. So one fifteen times 10 okay that really hurt uh trap trick triflesia ultis wow these these were in rarity collection weren't they i remember somebody apologizing for it you're lucky i don't remember who it was that suggested these because this is brutal uh yeah rarity collection too okay 13 dollars. basically everything traces back to rarity collection 
<laughs> and how bad this was. Okay, tw only 27%. Honestly, not that bad. They were up from 17 for a while. Uh, LOB 25th anniversary box. Great choice by me. Great choice by me. This is a good call. Okay, 146 dollars don't mind if i do that is nice to see okay we finally got a good investment all right little d time to ruin our happiness little d right after we got something awesome is there something great with little d let's come on come on little d there's only oh whoa check out the little d buyout okay four dollars and 53 cents unfortunately we bought them at five something so they are down uh judgment dragon light destruction I never actually got this card, so this one is null and void, I guess. I never got it. It's just got to stay the same. Look, we, there was a long story where we bought it. Guy sent it. It was like heavy play. He had another one. It was so heavy play or mod play or something. Then somebody sent me one. Shout out to Tricky Ending. And it got lost in the mail. That sucked. That was like a big bummer. So maybe it'll show up one day. I still have... I still have hope that that'll happen. But yeah, we didn't even get our biggest card, unfortunately. It's just gone. So uh, which one did we buy? Um, Dragons of Legend Unleash. Okay, so this one is 11 cents. Yeah, this is what happens when you let chat get any sort of input. Okay, 11 cents times how many in the world? How many did we buy of these? 23 and then 39. Fortunately, these were super cheap, so it was a tiny part of our budget, but still, like, this is brutal. Okay, we bought literally, I mean, how many, how many is that? That's 59, 62, 70, 70 of those? It's insane. All right, Mirage of Nightmare, Secret Rares. Let's see if those can change anything for us. Come on, give us something good here. Come on, Secret Rare. Let's just, let's be expensive now. Okay, near mint. Three dollars, why do I feel like these were really expensive? eight dollars each yep i was right okay looking good everybody all right destroyer phoenix enforcer dp i know this is down i think this thing's like three bucks we bought the original print in a time where original print does not matter at all okay four dollars and 49 cents wow i mean this is wait what this went up time out wait we met we made money 39 percent increase it was a dollar 25 but wow look at this that was our first card to go up besides the LB box. So first card, technically our first card. We did have a box go up. Wow, this is brutal, guys. This is brutal. Okay, Heavy Storm. It really, it should have been LB. And honestly, that's the only thing I... The, okay, the, let's just throw this out here. The only things that I actually think might go up, 25th Anniversary boxes, which they already have gone up, uh, obviously. And then Rarity Collection 2 and Rarity Collection 1. That's about it. Everything else, garbage. Which we have seen here. I mean, gar by garbage, I mean, not in, like investable, still great, Yu-Gi-Oh, awesome, but like, yeah, not going to go up in terms of buying. And I wouldn't recommend just going and buying stuff I just said might go up because it's not guaranteed because it still could probably go down. Um, yeah, but that is the probably the only things that have worked out recently. And just wait for Rarity Collection Chapter 1. Just wait for that. It's going to be... It'll happen. I wouldn't even be shocked. Uh, 588. Okay, that might have gone up. Uh, barely. Yeah, I did. Okay, technically... Uh, Brilliant Fusion, Ultimate Rares. I think maybe these could go up. We'll see. Uh, aren't these banned? I think we we're kind of betting on them being getting. Oh, whoa, whoa, big jump. Okay, uh, twenty six dollars. That's actually not that big, but we bought six of these. Why did we do this? I don't know, but it went up. Oh, I'll take that. All right, Draco Sack. I think probably just thought they were cool, and they were actually not super expensive. Mega Phantom Beast Draco Sack. I'm guessing this is the original print, or Lord, uh, Lord Attack Young Galaxy, right? First end near mint, twenty three seventy five. What do we pay on this? Oh, <laughs> Draco Sack. I see. Oh, Baron, great. Baron banned. Rarity Collection and banned. Which one do we even buy? Do we buy the Rarity Collection one? Yeah, okay, we bought the Rarity Collection one. We thought maybe, yeah, you know, it might be decent. No, no, they, they destroyed it, decimated it. 49 cents. Still not, oh, we bought 17 of these. Oh my gosh, this is not pretty, guys. This is not pretty at all. Lynn of the Light Charmer. I have a feeling that one didn't do too well. Why did we buy a Starlight? What were we thinking? After Rarity Collection, we bought a Starlight Rare. Might have been the dumbest thing we ever could have done. $22.74.95. I'm surprised it's that much, to be honest, because it doesn't have a quarter century yet. This was the worst investment I've ever done. I literally, we had literally seen Rarity Collection, and I still bought a Starlight. I must have been just tired of chat that day. That's all I could say. That, that That's my excuse. Okay, Dingirsu. All right, we got the quarter century Dingirsu. $6.82. That is definitely less than what we paid. Oh, boy. Uh, Lava Golem quarter century. Why did we buy so many Lava Golems? Why did we do that? That's a weird choice. Okay, $16. So we bought that one. There were different prices, I guess. And then, uh, what is this? 
evenly matched. Why does this say? Oh, it was completely even last time. Okay, evenly matched ultra. I think this card's not unbanned. That's or that this card is not banned. I should say that's good. You are. This has got to be the right one. Okay. Uh, eighty-five cents. Work. Work. Worm. All right, lightning storm. Why do we buy more lightning storms? We got pun. It's a different lightning storm, but we got punished by lightning storm before, and we're still buying lightning storm. Wait, was it ultras? Ultra, yes. Okay, uh, dollar twenty-seven. Wait, that's actually good. I don't know why I'm not just whatever. It's fine. Okay. We actually made 30 30 percent on that. Okay, reasoning prismatic. This is our last card. There are a lot of cards in here. Uh, prismatic ultimate rare. And guess what? We have not done so hot. 45 set. Whoa, that is bad. Okay, why did we buy that? Okay, honestly, somehow we've only, I guess because of the Judgment Dragon. Let's see what the Judgment Dragon would have been. Let's, just for fun. We don't actually have the card. Let's just see. Let's just see what it would be because of the reprint and everything. It would be first dead though. First dead, near mint. 198.93 would actually be making money on that. And we would have made money there. Okay, we looked it up because we thought we were going to have it that time. Still, though, somehow we're not losing a ton of money, basically because this LOB box kind of went crazy. Where's the LOB box? Yeah, look at this thing. This thing's up 50, $57, 64%. And that just came out last year. That's pretty insane. Everything else, kind of garbage, honestly. It, is, it has not been good. So we lost 5% this year. We lost 2% in 2023. And we lost like 57% in 2022. So I'm guessing, if I had to guess, by next year, 2023, we'll probably be looking a lot more like 2022 because everything's going to get a reprint. It's going to get crushed. And then slowly it's like that. And then eventually, hopefully, the really bad ones creep up a little bit because they, they've had reprints. They don't reprint them for a while. And maybe some of the old stuff comes back or some of the, you know, maybe it creeps back up. I don't actually know if that's going to happen or not. We're going to see throughout the series if that's the case. That's just really what I like about this. It's just data that we get to see and anytime we need to go back and look i can look at my spreadsheet i can look at the videos you guys can do that and we can kind of see what it was like back in 2022 which is the most interesting year at this point i just wish we had bought more but you can see kind of what some of this stuff costs i mean 25.99 ulti i mean actually this was actually near minute but i mean this stuff was way crazier lightning storm was 300 dollars. starlight rares go this ghost rare was so much then rarity collection happened and you saw what happened it went down like a crazy amount so really fun to follow this uh let me know what you think about the series uh do you want us to continue it you want to see what happens throughout the years because i think that's the real benefit of this series not necessarily i mean we're looking at a spreadsheet so if you're a spreadsheet guy you love it if you're not necessarily a spreadsheet guy you might be like this is boring you know whatever go back to a accounting etc etc so i always have fun doing this and uh if you guys enjoyed it as well make sure to subscribe to the channel shout out to tone Fo show puff and Zudum, ernesto dan america deutscher kk beats another side show ian moose jr barney robert f thomas mclean chang lang and aldelso galicia jr thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace